Five, four, three. Hi, welcome to Guns.com. We're here in our vault where we've got more than 3,000 certified used guns of every type you can think of. Uh, also got some guns that fire rockets and stuff. Lift off. We have a lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. Like this. This is a gyro jet, semi-automatic rocket pistol. Not making that up. These things are super neat, super cool. The concept was, and this was a California-based company, the concept was in the 1960s that these gyrojet guns would fire micro-rockets, 13-millimeter micro-rockets. Uh, you could have a very simple and basic uh, rifle or pistol. Since it fired a rocket, it didn't need to have to be very substantial. This is all just a very plain metal stamping, unrifled barrel. The concept was the rocket itself would provide gyroscopic stabilization. Once it accelerated, left the barrel, picked up velocity, moving forward. It loads very simply from the top, almost like a uh, broom handle Mauser. You insert the rockets into the magazine, top fed. When the gun fires, it ignites the rocket by actually firing the trigger backward into the rocket itself. Again, that trigger fires back to ignite the rocket. The rocket then accelerates, gains momentum, leaves the barrel, gains velocity. Unlike a traditional firearm that's kind of hit its peak velocity as it leaves the barrel, the rocket's still accelerating. The old wives' tale is with these guns that if they shot you from one, feet, one foot away, it would just kind of bounce off because it hadn't accelerated fast enough. Now, those rockets are very hard to find. Haven't been made since the uh, 70s. Uh, these days, the rockets themselves, a lot of times, will cost upwards of $100 a piece. No guarantee they'll fire. It's very old ordnance. The failure rate on them is pretty high. But if you can find some, uh, you may want to keep them, especially if you pick up this bad boy. Now, this is actually a Mark II pistol. The Mark I's were a 13 millimeter gun, 13 millimeter rocket gun. 1968, that ran into an issue with destructive devices. It went slightly over 50 caliber. Remember, 50 caliber is 12.7 millimeters. 13 millimeters is a little bit bigger than 50 cal, so it's, you know, it ran into an issue until that got straightened out. But to tread water and still make pistols that could be sold on the commercial market until then, they came out with the Mark II, which is a 12 millimeter rocket. So if you are lucky enough to go ahead and click through and get this particular gun, you'd have to get 12 millimeter gyrojet rockets, little micro jets, to fire out of it. This one includes the box. These are not very substantial boxes. You don't see a lot of these anymore. And it's date coded October 1969. So you're looking at a gun that just passed its 50th birthday. Retro sci-fi danger Will Robinson. It's all right here. Immaculate. You wouldn't expect something that is this light. And this gun is very light. We put it on a postal scale. It comes in at right at a pound, 16 ounces. For a gun that's roughly about the size of a 1911, if not larger. Very light, very light construction. All just metal stampings, little tiny sliver of wood for the grips. Interesting design, interesting thing to have in the man cave. If you can find the rockets, knock yourself out. Nonetheless, 100% collectible. For these and other great guns, head on over to guns.com.